नमस्कार डियर स्टूडेंट आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस वर्चुअल क्लास ऑर्गेनाइज बाय जॉइंट स्कूल फैमिली सो इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द प्लांट किंगडम सो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द प्लांट किंगडम सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द किंगडम एनिमलिया सो व्हेन वी सी अराउंड अस वी सी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड दिस एनिमल्स आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम इच अदर बाय डिफरेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक लाइक शेप size and different structure so in kingdom animalia uh, we can see different types of as i have already told different kinds of animal and these animals are different from each other by different characteristics such as shape size etc and about 13 lakh 42000 types of animals are found on this wall and this animals lives in different types of adaptation or habitat and some animals lives on land some live under soil and some other live in air too so according to their habitat these animals may be terrestrial aquatic and aerial and on the basis of their body structure they may be different also and uh, on the basis of uh, their backbone these animals can be di broadly divided into two groups that is vertebrate as well as invertebrate so they are classified into two groups that is vertebrates and invertebrates vertebrates are those animals which have backbones or vertebral columns in their body whereas invertebrate means the animals which do not have backbones or vertebral column so you can take the example like bat fox dolphin tiger eagle etc all they have backbone or their vertebral column in their body so they are classified under the vertebrates whereas the animals like flatworm jellyfish sponge uh, snail starfish shrimp spider all the belongs to in body breed animals okay and today we are going to study about the invertebrates only so we will discuss about the invertebrates and in that invertebrates also uh, there are lots of animals uh, they belongs to it so uh, let's study about the invertebrates now the invertebrate is the sub kingdom of animal kingdom in which the animals which do not have backbone or a vertebral column belongs so the definitions of the invertebrates says that the animal which do not have backbone or vertebral column are called invertebrates okay and these are lots of animal in this uh, sub kingdom so that uh, there are almost 97% of the total animals belongs to invertebrates okay so most of the invertebrates are uh, soft okay and uh, they have different characteristic so they neither possesses or not double vertebral column in their body okay now let's discuss about the some common characteristic of the invertebrates so first characteristic of invertebrate is that backbone is absent as already we told or we have understood that these animals are the animals which do not have backbone so first characteristic is that there is absent of backbone and they may be unicellular or multicellular okay these animals uh, may be unicellular or multicellular having many cells too so they have less developed organ and organ system so the animals which belongs to the invertebrate are less developed and they have less developed organ or organ system in some organism they don't have organ also okay and uh, they may reproduce asexually 
or sexually or both. So the animals which belongs to invertebrate they may reproduce asexually, sexually or by both the methods. And most of the invertebrate have soft body but some ha have hard shell too. So and about the habitat they may be aquatic or terrestrial. So the common characteristic of the invertebrate are these. Okay. And when we uh, talk about the examples you can uh, uh, you can observe like lobster, sea urchin, octopus as well as uh, like uh, scorpion etc are the example of invertebrate. So there are lots of animals that belongs to invertebrates. Okay. Okay now let's discuss about the invertebrates as we have already known that invertebrates consist about 97% of the total animals. So the invertebrates have many groups on the basis of their shape, sizes or forms of the body. And it is difficult to study about them in by placing them in a group or single group. Thus these animals according to their shapes, sizes or the form of body is classified into eight phyla. And these eight phyla are first porifera means those animals which bears pores belongs to it. Second phylum is colentrata. Animals having body cavity are placed. Similarly in phylum platyhelminthes the flat worms are placed. In phylum nemathelminthes round worms are placed. Similarly in fifth phylum that is annelida where the animals with ring or segmented body are placed. Similarly, arthropoda means animal with jointed legs. Similarly, in the phylum mollusca, the animals with soft body are placed. At the last, in the earth phylum, echinodermata, where the animal with spiny skin are placed. Okay, so that is the classification of the invertebrate on the basis of their shape sizes or the forms of body as we have already understood that there are large number of animals belongs to sub kingdom invertebrata. So now let's discuss about the phylum porifera. So today we will only study about the general characteristic of the phylum porifera. So the general characteristic is like that. This phylum includes multicellular animals and we know that multicellular organism means the animals which have many cells in them. But here we have to remember that these animals they have many cells but these cells are loose segregation of cells that means they do not form any tissues or organ or organ system. So they are only the loose segregation or that is the collection of the cells only. Though they are multicellular, they don't possess the tissues or organ or organ system in them. Okay. Now second characteristic is that they do not move from one place to another. Okay. They are fixed in their adolescence or in adolescence they are fixed in a particular place and generally they are aquatic okay they are found in the water and they are placed in a particular place when they are in adult though they move from one place to another in their larva stage okay and in larva stage they can move from one place to another they can settle in one particular place and they can move from one place to another and they make colonies or the uh, settlement in a different place so that they are spread 
different places okay so in larvae stage they can move from one place to another but in their adult uh, adult stage they are fixed in one place that's why they are called sessile and the place where they are fixed that is called substratum okay and as i have already told most of the uh, animals that belongs to porphyra are fixed in one place and they are found in aquatic climate that is in marine mostly the sponges or the animals that belongs to porphyra found in marine aquatic habitat but spongilla is one that is found in the fresh water okay the marine water means the salty water that is in the ocean or the sea is it clear okay now another characteristic of phylum porifera which are also known as pores bearing that's why they are called as the spores okay or sponges why because they bear spores in their body not spores that is pores in their body they have small small opening in their body which is called ostia so you can see in the diagram their ostia is shown which is in the lateral side of the body at the top there is also a large opening which is called osculum so generally what happen the ostia or the small pores from where the water enters into the body of sponges and the osculum is the at the top of the body through which water is thrown out as we know that they are living in the aquatic habitat water enters so you may uh, may be confused why the water is not flowing inside through the osculum only through the ostia is flowing in and going out through the osculum why it is so it is because okay it is because uh, it has two layer okay we will discuss about that in uh, coming uh, slide and uh, it has coenocytes okay coenocytes and this coenocyte has flagella okay if you see the diagram there at the top the direction of the flowing of water is shown and in the uh, right, your right hand side diagram there is flagellum is shown okay which is fixed on the collar and which is uh, responsible for, for collecting the digested food or the water and attracting and throwing it to the inside the body okay coenocyte and where the food uh, particle will be absorbed okay and this flagellum what happen this flagella which is present in the coenocytes what they do they beats the water upward so they push the water upward through the ostia water will flow inside and this uh, flagella which is present in the inner uh, layer of the or the inside of this uh, uh, organism they beats the water upward okay so due to which the water flow through the ostia and goes out to the osculum okay so this is another uh, characteristic of the porifera or the pores okay due to the presence of pores they are known as the sponges too or phylum porifera okay and next characteristic is that they do not have specific organ for excretory excretory means removal of the uh, waste material and the nervous system so they don't have uh, any uh, organ specific organ performing specific function as already i have told they are the loose collection of the cells though they are multicellular they do not have any specific organ or uh, nervous uh, or organ system so that's why they do not have any organ uh, which is excreting as well as communicating the information from the surrounding so general body surface helps in this activity of taking in oxygen as well as also so in respiration also 
take place through the body surface in case of the animal that belongs to the polyphera okay and another characteristic of the organism that belongs to it are polyphera okay is diploblastic so they have diploblastic body means diplo means two layer of cells those organism which are made up of two layer of skin or body okay they are ectoderm and endoderm endoderm means inner layer of the body and ectoderm means the outer layer of the muscles or skin you can say okay and they are separated by a small layer which is called mesoglia okay you can see the picture there you can uh, view it what is endoderm means inner layer and what is ectoderm the outer layer of the body of the animals that belongs to the porifera and the examples are of the animals that belongs to porifera there are many out of them you can take the example of uh, leuco slonia uso pongia cycon spongilla etc okay so today we have discussed about the animal kingdom how the animal kingdom are classified and we have discussed about the phylum porifera okay so just let us uh, revise the general characteristic of phylum porifera the general characteristic of phylum porifera is that they are multicellular animal they do not move from one place to another that's why they are called sessile and they are fixed in a substratum they have numerous pores and this numerous pores are called ostia which enables the water to enter and inside uh, through the water they get absorbed nutrition required for them as well as the oxygen necessary for them and their largest opening which is at the top of their head is known as osculum which is also called mouth most of the sponges are marine that means they are found in the salty water except spongilla which is found in the fresh water too and similarly they do not have any specific organ for excretory as well as nervous system and the respiration takes place through the body surface and they have diploblastic body that is having two layer of cells so they are called diploblastic animal is it clear so for today this much thank you for watching this video and keep watching